Hi, Steve the Prop Guy here. Uh, in this short video clip I want to give you details of our fuel cells that we do. Uh, principally we've got two types. Uh, on this side here we've got the Dankel tank. Uh, on this side here we've got the Flomax. Uh, there's some subtle differences uh, with the two tanks which I'll go through in a little while with you. I mean, uh, first of all, I think everybody has had at some stage or another some problems with fueling. Uh, some of you may have even lost model, models through uh, uh, engine outs and traced it to a fuel problem. Uh, what these tanks bring is uh, an almost foolproof installation. Uh, there's no bungs to go hard, brittle, and uh, the part of the, uh, the uh, solution is the tanks are crystal clear, um, but particularly this lightweight one which is a favourite with the 3D flyers where weight's uh, uh, paramount. Um, the, let's stick with the Dankel range first. Uh, these are principally for petrol engines. They're not suitable for glow. Uh, uh, they will do petrol and also there's a version which uh, is for smoke oil. Um, essentially it's the same tank. The difference being instead of in a felt clunk, there's a metal clunk. Obviously the uh, smoke oil is a higher viscosity. Uh, the kit comes with a foam mounting pad, Velcro, and six feet of tubing. Now, inside the tank is genuine Tigon. This is the main difference between this and the Flowmax. This is a polyurethane hybrid um, fuel line, which is heat resistant, so it'll go straight to uh, um, a muffler or silencer, uh, and uh, you don't need the butyl tubing. Uh, that's essentially the main difference between the Dankel range and uh, the Flomax range. The Dankel range is limited in sizes. We've got 8 ounce, 16 ounce, 32 ounce, um, and they're just introduced to 12 ounce, which is great for the 30cc size uh, petrol engine. Okay, Flomax, a different uh, uh, range, slightly different sizes bigger range of capacities uh, as you can see here we've got the lightweight again uh, um, it, which is you know you compare the two you can see the same capacity slimmer tank uh, if people want to get their fingers down to do a wing bolt this is very often much preferred uh, and then we go uh, we do this in in six uh, slightly different capacity where this is 32 ounce this is a litre so we've got 40, about 40 cc's difference in capacity. Um, for some of the people who are not really too concerned about weight, uh, more concerned about maybe damaging, particularly the jet guys where uh, if they have an impact and there's a hot engine, they want something a little bit more robust. Uh, but also people with, with the larger petrol engines uh, uh, tend to go for what we call the heavy duty so we have a lightweight here and then we have a heavy duty the other thing is as you can see here not only have we got the rectangular uh, tanks but we've also got circular uh, and there's a greater range of capacities all the details are on the website uh, for both these tanks uh, these will tolerate a wider range of, in fact every petro petrochemical known so whether you're flying jets glow uh, all you need to make sure is you order the right one and instead of having Tigon it's going to have uh, a, a high grade silicon. Again they come with a mounting kit with Velcro, the particular tubing that you're going to need, fuel tubing, um, uh, so the mounting pad here, uh, and, and a, a greater range of, um, of, of sizes. So um, check the website, as I say there's a, it's all on there and uh, thank you for watching, happy and safe flying.